Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 34. Yoshiyahu was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned in Yerushalayim one and thirty years, and he did that which was right in the sight of Yahweh, and walked in the ways of David his father, and declined neither to the right hand nor to the left. For in the eighth year of his reign, while he was yet young, he began to seek after the Elohai of David, his father. And in the twelfth year, he began to purge at Yahudah and Yerushalayim from the high places and the Asherah poles and the carved images and the molten images. And they broke down at the altars of Baalim in his presence and the images that were on high above them, he cut down, and the Asherah poles, and the carved images, and the molten images, he broke in pieces, and made dust of them, and strode them it, rather, and strode it upon the graves of them that had sacrificed unto them. And he burnt the bones of the priests upon their altars, and cleansed at Yahudah and at Yerushalayim. And so did he in the cities of Manasseh, and Ephraim, and Shimon, even unto Naphtali, with their mattocks round about. And when he had broken down at the altars and at the Asherah poles, and had beaten graven images into powder, and cut down all the idols throughout all the land of Yashadael, he returned to Yerushalayim. Now in the eighteenth year of his reign, when he had purged the land and the house, he sent Eth Shaphan the son of Atzaliyahu, and Eth Maaseyahu, the governor of the city, and Eth Yoach, the son of Yoachaz, the recorder, to repair at the house of Yahweh Eloheyu. And when they came to Kilkiyahu, the high priest, they delivered at the money that was brought into the house of Elohim, which the Leviim that guarded the doors had gathered of the hand of Manasseh and Ephraim, and of all the remnant of Yashadael, and of all Yahudah and Binyamin, and they returned to Jerusalem. And they put it in the hand of the workmen that had the oversight of the house of Yahweh, and they gave it to the workmen that wrought in the house of Yahweh to repair and amend the house. Even to the artificers and builders gave they it, to buy hewn stone and timber for couplings, and to floor at the houses which the kings of Yahadah had destroyed. And the men did the work faithfully, and the overseers of them were Yahath and Ovadyahu, the Leviim, of the sons of Merai and Zechariahu, and Meshalam, of the sons of the Kohathim, to set it forward, and other of the Leviim, all that could skill of instruments of music. Also they were over the bearers of burdens, and were overseers of all that wrought the work in any manner of service. And of the Leviim there were scribes, and officers, and porters, and when they brought out at the money that was brought into the house of Yahweh, Kilkiyahu, the priest, found at a sefer of the Torah of Yahweh, given by Moshe. And Kilkiyahu answered and said to Shaphan the scribe, I have found the sefer of the Torah, in the house of Yahuwah. And Kilkiyahu delivered at the, fes, rather the Sefer 
to Shafan. And Shafan carried at the Sefer to the king, and brought at the king word back again, saying, All that was committed to your servants, they do it. And they have gathered together at the money that was found in the house of Yahweh, and have delivered it into the hand of the overseers, and to the hand of the workmen. Then Shaphan the scribe told the king, saying, Kilkiyahu the priest has given me a sefer. And Shaphan read it before the king. And it came to pass, when the king had heard at the words of the Torah, that he rent his at clothes, rather, that he rent at his clothes, and the king commanded at Kilkiyahu, and at Achikam, the son of Shaphan, and at Avdan, the son of Mikah, and at the, or rather, and at Shaphan, the scribe, and at Esaiah, a servant of the king's, saying, Go, inquire of at Yahuwah for me, and for them that are left in Yashadael, and in Yahuda, concerning the words of the Sefer that is found. For great is the wrath of Yahuwah that is poured out upon us, because our fathers have not guarded at the word of Yahuwah to do after all that is written in this Sefer. And Kilkiyahu, and they that the king had appointed, went to Kulda the prophetess, the woman of Shalom, the son of Tikva, the son of Kachra, garter of the wardrobe. Now she dwelt in Yerushalayim in the college, and they spoke to her to that effect. And she answered them, Thus says the Yahuwah Elohai of Yasher El, Tell ye the man that sent you to me. Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place and upon the inhabitants thereof, hath even all the curses that are written in the Sefer, which they have read before the king of Yahuda, because they have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other Elohim, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be poured out upon this place, and shall not be quenched. And as for the king of Yahudah, who sent you to inquire of Yahuwah, so shall ye say unto him, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el, concerning the words which you have heard. Because your heart was tender, and you did humble yourself before Elohim, when you heard at his words against this place, and against the inhabitants thereof, and humbled yourself before me, and did rend at your clothes, and weep before me, I have even heard you also, says Yahweh. Behold, I will gather you to your fathers, and you shall be gathered to your grave in peace. Neither shall your eyes see all the evil that I will bring upon this place, and upon the inhabitants of the same. So they brought at the king word again. Then the king sent and gathered together at all the elders of Yahda and Yerushalayim. And the king went up into the house of Yahuwah, and all the men of Yahuda, and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and the priests, and the Leviim, and all the people, great and small. And he read in their ears at all the words of the Sefer, of the covenant that was found in the house of Yahuwah. And the king stood in his place and cut at a covenant before Yahuwah to walk after Yahuwah and to guard at his commandments 
and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and with all his soul to perform at the words of the covenant which are written in this sefer. And he caused death all that were present in Yerushalayim and Binyamin to stand to it. And the inhabitants of Yerushalayim did according to the covenant of Elohim, the Elohim of their fathers. And Yoshiahu took away Eth all the abominations out of all the countries that pertained to the children of Yashara'el, and made Eth all that were present in Yashara'el to serve even to serve at Yahuwah Elohehem. And all his days they departed not from following Yahuwah, the Elohim of their fathers.